If you have one of the new Ryzen 7000 series, then you also are going to need some new memory. So from G-Skill, which is one of the leaders in the space, we have the Flare X5. Uh, this is the 32 gigabyte kit. So what's gonna set the, this memory apart, so this is going to be the PC5600, uh, is that well, number one, it's gonna be run significantly faster than your standard DDR5s that you would find on a lot of the Intels, uh, and definitely a lot faster than most of the DDR4 memory kits out there. Uh, but the big thing is this came out and it is literally to support the Ryzen processors, the Ryzen 7000 series, and it does have uh, built-in um, Expo profiles, which is, what does Expo stand for? Um, it is, it's called Expo, but it is for AMD. Do, 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 do. It is extended profiles for overclocking. So uh, in the good old days, you would have to go for the memory, go for the bias setting, and uh, keep playing around to see how much you can uh, boost the memory. Um, however, with the newer processors, because the Ryzen's are going to like it a little bit hot, um, with the memory profiles, all you have to do to overclock the memory is go into the BIOS setting and enable it. Um, so this is meant to work with the new X670 chipsets and probably the X, um, well, not the X, so X670, X670E, uh, but also the new B650 and B650E possibly. Um, but it did come out specifically for the X670s. Um, so even though the Ryzen's are designed to run at about 6,000 megahertz, um, these are the PC5600, but as soon as my motherboard gets here, I do look forward to uh, playing around with this to see how much we can overboost it. Um, G-Skill is going to be for a lot of the gamers. Um, and what's gonna set this one kind of a little bit apart also, um, there is no RGB on here. Um, the X5 Flare, is going to be a little bit more low key. Um, so you do have good heat sinks. So each one of these is 16 uh, gigs for a total of 32 gigabytes total. Um, you do have metal heat sinks on each memory module. Um, however, no RGB lights. I guess I suppose if you wanted to, you can replace them uh, or just put more RGB in the case to go along with it. Uh, but otherwise, AMD Expo ready and a very, very solid value. And for those that care, um, PC5600. Now the latency on these is also, uh, on the DDR5s is a little bit higher than DDR4s. So the latency here is CL36, 36, 36, and 89. And then we have 1.2 volts. So this is the G-Skill Flare X5 DDR32 gigabytes kit.